I want to tell you about this bubbler. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today we're doing a product review on something that I use every time I'm out here at the beach. It's something that you're going to use whether you're fishing on the beach, whether you're fishing inshore, uh, probably not offshore, but if you're fishing in a, a lake, um, stream, you're, you're going to have probably going to have a bait bucket and you're gonna to need to keep your bait alive, whether you're using shrimp or you're using minnows, some type of live bait you're gonna to wanna to keep alive. You're gonna have a bubbler. So I wanna tell you about this bubbler that I found probably about six months ago. And until then, until I bought this one, I was buying the ones where you put the batteries in and then you have to keep replacing the batteries and you, the, the it gets wet because you're out here either at the beach or near water. It's going to get corroded. It's going to get, you know, if you are near the ocean or salt water, the salt water itself, the salty air is going to start corroding it. <laughs> we got water coming up really high today. So I found this on Amazon and there's a link in my description to all of the gear that I use. It is an affiliate link, so I do get a little kickback from that. But this angle has saved me, it's saved me money in the long run because you don't have to put batteries in this thing. This is completely rechargeable. So you've got a charging port right here and it uses a USB-C port. And uh, it doesn't take too long for this to charge that I've noticed, I don't know the exact time. And then as you can see, this closes flush with the side so that it is also waterproof. So the bottom here, this is my only pet peeve with this bubbler is that the um, this comes out of the bottom instead of like the top or the side, but it does make it more streamlined. I'm going to show you this in a few minutes on my bucket, but before I do that, I just wanted to point out some of the features. I mean, there's three little buttons here and they've made this really, really simple. This is your power button. So it turns on, you can see there's lights, it's going, it's been going since 6.30 this morning and it's still got all four, all four lights on. So uh, then this is the coolest thing. This has an intermittent timer. So if you put it on intermittent mode, it stops. Okay, so it's going on for 10 seconds and then it's going to stop for 10 seconds. It'll be on and off and on and off. It's intermittent. So there, it just turned off. And then 10 seconds later, it's gonna turn back on. And this is gonna keep your bait alive if you need to be out. I took this to a tournament last year in Georgia, and I was on the beach for two days straight. I did not need to charge this, but one time before we left on our trip. And it held its charge the whole time. I put it on intermittent, and it kept my shrimp alive for two days. Two days. So <laughs> keep that in mind. This, this will keep your bait going, for, as you can tell. Uh, it's been a little worn. I have used this a lot. There's a little corrosion on the uh, the metal piece here. It's got these little rubber legs, so that keeps it from sliding around on your bucket, on the side of the bucket. So, I'm gonna turn this camera around and I'm gonna have you watch as I hook it up to the bucket and you can see it in action. So the beach I'm at today has this little uh, natural seawall that they built. Uh, when our beach got destroyed, but it's making a good little uh, place to put this bucket today so I can show this to you easier. So here we have our bubbler and I, I have it turned off, but uh, we're gonna turn it on. And as you can see, I don't know if you can hear it over the waves, but it is on and I'll turn on the intermittent phase. So it's gonna run for 10 seconds and so here, while, we're, while that's running and before it turns off, I'm going to turn it, I'm going to put it. So that just, any, any tubing, all the normal tubing that you use is going to attach here. So watch as I put this on here, that's, that's very, pretty secure right in there. And then this, you can bend this to where if you want it like stuck to it or whatever, but this will stay pretty well. 
And as you can see, it's on its intermittent phase right now. So it's stopped. And here in a few seconds, you can see these shrimp are pretty happy. Hey buddies, there it goes. Now it's gonna bubble for 10 seconds before it turns off again. But this will, this bubbler will stay going. I've needed to have it run overnight and it has been just fine. And the shrimp were fine in the morning, the water was clear. The plus or minus here, I've never really touched those. There's four different ways that it can do intermittent speeding. So uh, I haven't need to mess with it because the, the one that you, that turns on when you just push the intermittent button has been fine. Okay, well I was going to show you this bucket in action and then I caught this little guy. It's little whiting. It's not too bad. We'll take him home. So what I do when I put this in my bleeding bucket to transport to and from the beach, I just take this off and I sit this on top. And that way it'll fit securely down into this bucket without this getting hit on the sides and things like that. So, and I, I will say this used to be a lot tighter and I kind of bent it out a little bit so that it wouldn't be so hard to get onto my bucket. I love this thing. I would highly recommend using it. It's about $50 when I bought it. I've never had to buy batteries again. I just recharge it. You could bring a portable charger and charge it on the beach if you needed to or while you're out on the boat. Well, thank you so much for watching this product review video. I highly recommend this charger. It's been great for me, saved me a lot of money, and it has saved me from shrimp and bait dying because it lasts so long. But if you would like to have me review other products, you have a suggestion for something we can review, please leave that in the comments. And if you're gonna be in the Flagler Beach area, or maybe you live somewhere in Northeast Florida and you want to get into surf fishing, or maybe you've been trying and you've not been catching anything, and you're not sure where to go and what to do, consider booking a charter with me because uh, I get people out there and on the fish all the time. And I would love to show you how to fish on the beach. My information is on the website, fishing-girl.com. That's gonna be right here on the video. And it's also linked in the description, but I would love to have you come out on a charter. But thank you so much for watching this video. And especially if you watched all the way to the end. For now, tight lines, God bless. And we'll see you. just recording about this uh, bubbler for my bait bucket. Hopefully not another shark. No, Fred. No, 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 no. This is my fish. <laughs> he was going to take my fish. Yes, we got a whiting. All right, and he's on our fishing girl pink rig. A pink float rig. And all I have on there is fish bites. So you can't really pack these hooks out. <laughs> Look, Fred, he's like, he's getting in trouble. I'm gonna put this guy in my cooler to keep him safe from Fred.